now I want to go to a controversial topic. And I told you that uh, there wasn't going to be anything that I was going to leave off limits. And I'm not bashful. And you welcomed it. And you said, bring it on. I'm ready. Yep. Let's go. So here it is. Yep. Uh, You look around the table, and we've got a bunch of water bottles. It's because I didn't want to pay the soda tax. (laughs) So I was a little concerned having a state representative coming into New Jersey that would drag that soda tax into New Jersey. So tell the listeners, what's the soda tax? The soda tax, or called the PBT, is the Philadelphia Beverage Tax. That is a tax that brings in revenue to fund community schools, expanded pre-K, and rebuild, which is a program to improve our rec centers. How did it come about? So it was passed in a duly elected uh, city council. Uh, Overwhelming support uh, from city council and signed by Mayor Kenny. And it just slid right through nobody opposed it there there was and it continues to be a big soda uh continues to dump millions of dollars in an effort to not only um get city council to reverse the soda tax and 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 eliminate it but also on the state level preempt preemptive measures to make sure that we are not allowed to move forward with the soda tax and that really is my big objection as a philadelphian if we have a unique problem and we have a unique solution we should have the local control to deal with that problem so i said that facetiously i I, i'm very well aware of the struggles and and supermarkets um, restaurants um, they feel that they've been disadvantaged by people going outside of the city so as you're trying to do economic development in your neighborhood in your district um have you seen um, what the opponents have complained of in terms of a loss of business as a result of the soda tax? No, some of the some of the local employers in my district they actually have help wanted uh, signs. They're hiring folks in in their in the supermarkets. Um, the industry has actually uh, increased. Uh, the they, people are hiring and. I understand that there's a drumbeat out there, that there's a narrative that the PBT is causing for job losses, hemorrhaging jobs. The, the facts on the ground, the data shows the exact opposite. The revenue that was raised, um, are, are we a full year in on that soda tax? We are. How has that contributed to the city? Look, so if you came to my district, I'll tell you how it has. Um, two blocks away from where my wife and I live is a, it used to be vacant, is a new uh, uh, Head Start program funded in large part, the expanded slots by the PBT. If you go across the street, there's a rec center. That rec center hadn't been touched since I was growing up and playing Pee Wee League ball, probably 20 years. Now there's a beautiful playground there. For those who are against it, I'd love them to tell me which of the kids who are benefiting from the Head Start program I should remove from that program and which of the kids that are at that rec center every day with their families, I should say they shouldn't have that great experience. You talk about kids. We always speak of the next generation of voters and the importance to get out the vote, GOTV, how it's hashtagged or abbreviated. How do you continue to engage voters in a time when people are so disenchanted by negative TV ads, radio ads, um, you know, mailers, propaganda? How do you continue to engage them? When I ran, I, re- I registered 500 or it might have been more voters. And I did it by going to them. Um, we registered a ton of voters in a very diverse community and then made sure that they came out to the polls. The reason that they came is because their experience with government, with a local politician, was a positive one. They equate me with tangible improvements to the neighborhood. That's a positive. That gets people involved in the process. So we've got them involved in the process. We're starting to get Philadelphia to where it needs to be um, with all the improvements What do you want to see in Philadelphia? I want to see us address the biggest legacy issue throughout our city, which is poverty. 
Poverty has been stubbornly stuck at 26%, 26% in 2016, 26% in, in 2016, with all of the policy proposals thrown at it. We need to uplift communities by addressing that poverty level through many of the programs I'm talking about, taking the Northeast model, business corridors, infrastructure investment, and ensuring that we have a workforce ready to work and are the middle class. So unfortunately, Jared, we're running out of time. I have one final question. This is going to be your toughest one. You've probably heard it before. What's next? What's next for Representative Jared Solomon? And we need, we need to move quick on this because we're running out of time. Big things. Development in the Northeast. Continue moving communities throughout the city forward. Excellent. That's going to do it for this week's edition of the Adam Malama Show. Real people, real perspectives, real opinions. Special thanks to our guest today, Pennsylvania State Rep. Jarrett Solomon. Great stuff uh, from the rep who's joining Adam today. Adam, nice job today uh, on the program. Remember, if you're listening uh, on Radio.com, just search the Adam Malama Show. On behalf uh, of the uh, Pennsylvania State Rep and on behalf of our gracious host, Adam Malama, I'm Joe Krause. See you next time, everybody. This program is a paid commercial announcement and in no way represents the views of W.